we are very much excited by finally releasing our brand new plugin called affiliate booster amazon add-on so we created this plugin to fetch the data from amazon in live mode that means all you need to do is you need to connect your product advertising api key so we have linked all of the guides here in the documentation we have creating api keys request throttled amazon api version 5 migration so all you need to do is click on creating api keys and it will open an article at affiliatebooster.com where you will be able to learn that how can you actually create these keys so this is the entire article where we explained how these keys work and how can you use inside our plugin to get the data from amazon in live mode okay so go through this article and you will learn how to grab the api keys as soon as it is done you just need to enter your api key here your secret key here and here in this particular box your tracking id will go so there can be multiple tracking id in one amazon account so whatever your tracking id is just enter that tracking id here and make sure that you have chosen the right country because we have multiple countries here if your maximum traffic is from us select amazon.com if your traffic is from india select dot in so at present this plugin will fetch the data from one country only because we haven't integrated the geo redirection or geo data fetching as of now in future we will see if we will be able to add that feature in the plugin so as of now you will have to select only one amazon account it can be dot com it can be uk it can be canada it can be australia so just select that particular account in our case it is amazon.com we have added our tracking id api key api secret as soon as it is done you need to click on the save changes so now it is done so as soon as you do it your account will connect with our plugin and here are the short codes so this is the short code to fetch images this is the short code to fetch the price and this is the short code to fetch the rating of the product so let me show you how can you do it so let's open any article i'll open all posts in new tab and here we are going to create just a new article so i'll click on add new and in this article what i'm going to do right now is i will add any of our block and i'll show you how can you fetch the data at multiple locations and furthermore how can you actually change the location of the data with just few settings so the article has loaded so let's add the single product block here a b single product so by default this block is looking something like this so here you see the setting called amazon settings if i open this it is asking me to paste the price short code and the rating short code so let's fetch the short code from our account itself so this is price short code i'll copy it and i will paste it here now i'll copy the rating short code and i will paste it here so now you can see that both codes has been added here one by one but if you want to change the position you can simply say that i want to show the price position above the button so now the price will come here okay and simply you can do this as well if you want to show the rating above the button but price below the button so you can do all these things as per your choice so now we have added the short codes now we need to fetch the asin code which is important because that code is going to fetch the data from amazon so let's open any product on amazon let's go there and let's open some of the fitness products so we have opened this particular product for the demo purpose so this is the product the price of this product is 199 dollar and if i scroll down you will see the code called asin code this is the asin code all you need to do is you need to copy this code from here come in your article and paste that code here i have already pasted the code in the price short code as well as in the rating short code so as soon as you update your article and see the live demo of this you will see that it is fetching the live rating from the product and it is fetching the live pricing from the product from amazon itself so this is how you need to use it and let me show you how can you use the image short code so i'll copy the short code from here i'll copy it i'll come inside my article 
and just scroll up go there in journal settings and i'll say it external image and i'll paste that particular short code here and our product async code is this i'll copy this one and i'll come back to my article where it was here so i'll paste the async code here as well i'll say save draft and if i refresh my article it is fetching the image directly from amazon using the short code so as of now this plugin is not 100% ready i would say it is 99% ready because sometime it is failing to fetch the data from amazon which we are fixing which we are right now looking for the solution i don't think it would be a big thing because right now i can see the pricing is there but sometimes if i load it is not there so this is the known problem so just be with us start using this plugin and let us know if you are facing any problem we will be here to fix the issues and this particular problem which was failing the api this is the known issue we are working on it as soon as it is done you will see the next update so till now this was all about this new plugin start using it and and let us know how do you feel about the plugin